Hey everyone, welcome to Wishing Well Barbecue. I'm Dustin Wells and today I'm gonna show you how to make a smoked braided pork loin. Let's do it. Okay, I fell victim to the TikTok trend. I've seen these everywhere on TikTok and I wanted to put my spin on it and see if this was really something that was worth doing or not. I know that pork loin tastes good and I know that these look really awesome, but does it really make a difference? Let's find out. Let me show you what we've got to do to get this pork loin ready for the smoker. I went to my local grocery store and picked up this half loin roast and this one is about five pounds. Once I get it out of the package, the first thing I want to do is take my Spaceman knife and I want to trim off any extra hard fat that I'm not going to need on this roast. Don't take all of this fat cap off though because remember, fat is flavor. I am going to make sure that I square this pork loin up because when we make the braid later, we want all of the sides to be equal. Now that I've got my pork loin nice and trimmed up, I'm going to use my knife to just roughly mark three equal sections on this pork loin. Now I'm just going to take my knife and cut through this pork loin following those lines, but when I get to the end, I want to leave a little bit of it connected. I'm probably only leaving about a half inch of it connected. This is going to help us keep our pork loin together when we start our braid. Now we're ready to season this up. So the first thing we're going to use is yellow mustard as a binder, and we want to make sure we get it on all sides of all three pieces of this pork loin. Now we're ready to add seasoning and you know we're going to use our Wishing Well Barbecue competition style rub and once again make sure you get this pork loin covered on all sides. And don't be shy either because this is going to give our loin a really awesome flavor. The final step is to make this into a braid and the way I'm going to do this is take my outside piece and cross it over the center piece and then I'm going to continue this pattern until I've completed the braid all the way down the pork loin. As you complete the braid, make sure that you have a nice tight fit, that way the braid doesn't want to come apart. Once the braid is nice and tight, I'm going to take a wooden skewer and stab it through all three pieces down here on the end, that way it doesn't want to come apart during the cooking process. Make one final touch up with any seasoning that you need to and let's get it on the smoker. Today I'm cooking on my Oklahoma Joe Bronco Drum Smoker. To get this fire started, I'm going to load my charcoal basket with some lump charcoal. Once I load the basket into the drum smoker, I'm going to get the smoker fired up and then I'm going to add in about three chunks of cherry wood. We're going to put in the diffuser plate and let the smoker get up to 250 degrees. Once the smoker is up to temp, we're going to put this pork loin on the center rack and we're going to close it down and let it cook. Let's check on it in about an hour. All right, we've had this braided pork loin on for about an hour and just check it out. The color's really coming along. It looks really awesome. We're sitting at about 104 internal, so we still have a ways to go. Let's close down the smoker and let it keep on cooking. All right, it's been an additional hour for a total of two hours and just check it out. This pork loin has such an amazing color. Right now, we're sitting around 140 degrees, so we're ready to glaze. For our glaze today, I've mixed up the following ingredients and heated them up in the microwave, and I just want to glaze this pork loin all over. One of the biggest mistakes I see pitmasters make is they glaze their meat too soon. When you do this, it's going to make the glaze get too dark. You really only need about 15 minutes to let it tack up on the meat. Now that we're finished glazing, let's close down this smoker and let it get up to 145 degrees. All right, y'all, it's been an additional 20 minutes and just check out how amazing this loin looks. Now it's time for one of the most important parts. We have to let this rest. So I'm gonna get some aluminum foil and I'm gonna wrap it up nice and tight and I'm gonna let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then it's gonna be time for the best part. So make sure you stick around. All right, we have let this braided pork loin rest for about 25 minutes, and I tell you what, it smells so delicious. But before we slice into it, let's talk about what we did to get here. The first thing I did was take this pork loin and trim off any extra fat that I didn't need. Then we cut the loin into three equal size strips, but we left the end connected. Then we rubbed our loin down with some yellow mustard as a binder and seasoned with our Wishing Well Barbecue competition style rub. 
We cooked this pork loin on our Oklahoma Joe Bronco drum smoker for two hours until the internal temperature reached 140 degrees. Then we glazed our pork loin and let it continue cooking until the internal temperature reached 145 degrees. We wrapped it up in foil and let it rest for about 25 minutes. And now here we are, and I can't wait any longer. Let's slice into it. Oh man, that looks phenomenal. Once you kind of take that stick out, the braid kind of wants to come apart. That's something that I totally expected. It definitely looks really cool though. Let's take our knife and cut a couple of slices. Nice and juicy. I'm ready to take a bite of this, so let's do it. All right, it's the moment you've been waiting for. Hey, cheers to you, cheers to a good cook. Let's take a bite. Hmm, look how tender that is. A perfect bite. What I think is really cool about doing a braided pork loin is number one, it does look really cool. And number two, it gives you the opportunity to have a couple of smaller slices so if you're feeding a crowd or if you have a whole bunch of other stuff, you can just grab a little piece of this without having to take a big slice. I think this is something that you definitely want to try. I really recommend that you make sure that you get a nice long pork loin. If you have a short one, it's gonna be really, really tough to braid and it probably won't look as good. I think this one could have gone a little bit longer and it would have looked a little bit better. But it's still braided, it's still got the job done, and it still looks awesome. And most importantly, tastes good too. Mmm. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like what we're doing here on the Wishing Well Barbecue channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. Make sure you also check out all of our other socials and all of our other links in the description below. Thank you so much again, and as always, we'll see you next time.